Hello mga kalag, I'm back here in the UK from my vacation, my short vacation in Morocco. Yung vacation na yun guys is my self reward for surviving here in the UK. I've, I have been living and working here for half a year already so kaya ako nag decide na mag travel to celebrate life. Not considering coming here to the UK, kasi yung pagpunta ko dito is more of uh, for work, not really for travel. So yung trip ko to Morocco was the first travel I have ever been in my life. Because even sa Pilipinas, hindi pa ako nakapag abroad, hindi pa ako nakapag Thailand, Hong Kong, Korea, Japan. So this um, experience was very exciting for me. It was very self-awakening and I did it on a budget and I did it alone. I did everything DIY. Um, most, most of the activities I did were just planned ahead of time all by myself. So I'm very proud and it opens me up to um, more discoveries about myself na kaya ko palang makipagsapalaran sa buhay. <laughs> no, just kidding. Enough of the talk. So in this video, I'm gonna explain to you. I will try my best to share to you the requirements to go to Morocco if you are um, holding a Philippine passport here in the UK. Either you are working like me as a nurse or other kind of job. You are on dependent visa or whatsoever. As long as you are holding a Philippine passport, I'll share to you my experience on the process of going to Morocco. So I have my trusty notes here so that meron tayong flow sa pag explain ko sa inyo about the requirements of going to Morocco. So for the preparation, of course, you need your plane ticket. In my case, I booked um, EasyJet. EasyJet, I guess, is a low-cost um, carrier, low-cost aircraft carrier here in Europe, basically. So, I have tried this airline when um, I took my OSCE, my second take of the OSCE from London Gatwick Airport to um, Ulster in Northern Ireland. So, I had an experience with this aircraft. It was, it is a big aircraft. The staff is also nice so the same experience yung pagpunta ko sa Morocco so no hassle um, other than that the uh, plane tickets were very cheap so I booked napansin ko lang if you book your flight on weekends in EasyJet it is more expensive so I booked on weekdays anyway my sh my stay was just 4 days so it was from Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday Friday so weekday siya yung papunta ko doon at pabalik so in total yung nagasto ko for the plane ticket is just around 140 pounds and then one of the attractions or one of the activities that you can do in Morocco is yung um, dormitory or camel ride and quad bike ride so in this case you can do it DIY but parang hassle na siya for you to look for a tour company or a certain group that organizes this kind of activity so in my case i i booked the activity using this website they also have an app it is called get your guide so you just type in the place actually it's not just exclusive for morocco it's for all over the world so you just type in the place so in my case i put in marrakesh and then they will show you all the activities and tour packages and activity packages that you can avail in that particular um, place that you are planning to go. So, Marrakesh, I chose the Domidari and Quad Bike. For this um, package, I only paid for about, if I'm not mistaken, it's not more than 40 pounds. That's um, four or I guess five hours of um, camel ride, um, meron din um, tea drinking and traditional Moroccan tea and use of the quad bike which was very very exciting for me so I thought parang ano lang siya, ng, parang ano lang siya drive drive lang ganun we really moved around vast areas covering vast distances of the desert passing by mga old old structures, parang mga clay walls, may mga villages din, mga palm trees, and we crossed 
certain highways and went to the other side of the road went to the des desert and stuff so it was really really fun now when it comes to packing so um i i did it as a backpacker so of course i have a backpack with me i actually bought three uh, bags the big one i am um, this that is where i put my that was where i put my clothes and important stuff inside and i also used uh, i also brought a smaller backpack yun yung ginagamit ko when i moved around the city and then um sling bag just for the most important stuff like your cell phone your wallet and um your passport and when you go traveling of course you bring your cell phone that is a very necessary um, device especially nowadays na the picture picture sometimes our payments are made through our phones and google maps so it's like the your bloodline when it comes to traveling especially if you are alone so you should bring your charges but not only charges um, you have also to research the country that you are going to so in Morocco they are using the EU type plug so nakita ko tong um, product na to sa Shein so it has three types of plugs meron siyang EU so ito yung ginagamit sa Morocco and then UK of course dito and uh, USA and Australia so we in the Philippines we are using this kind of plug so if you have this plug um, you will pretty much survive everywhere importante talaga i-research nyo what type of, what type of plug yung ginagamit sa um, bansang balak yung puntahan kasi if you don't have something like this then you will have to look around that place and buy it so which can be a little bit expensive a little bit of hassle it is a waste of your time and if you're running out of juice um what would you do hindi mo masaksak yung charger mo so keep this one in handy this is a very st sturdy product so i hope it will last long because i'm planning to travel to more places and countries so this is not a paid video but you <laughs> this is not a paid video but you can find this one in she in now another important thing to to bring with you when you go traveling is your um power bank so this is a magsafe power bank this is not apple though nabili ko lang to sa cebu it has 2000 mah so this is i have i can prove and um proven and tested na it really helped me a lot so i'm using an iphone 14 pro right now so pag intense ko siyang ginagamit videos and pictures um if i start my day at around eight o'clock around 12 or one o'clock it goes down to 40 percent already so i always keep this one in handy and it's it's quite it is quite fast when it comes to charging so around 20 minutes or less you'll get like um 15 to 20 percent boost of your battery so that is enough for you to last for a couple more hours until you go back to your hotel or whatever to do um charging using the traditional wire charger so always remember you bring a battery pack a power bank because nothing worse can happen if you are, you don't have any battery with you on your phone and then you can take pictures and like me i'm doing it solo so there is no one with me na pwedeng hiraman ng phone na magpa picture or whatever so i always have this power pack with me now for the requirements um walang maraming requirements when you go to morocco guys so all you need to do is your ticket of course and your um hotel booking and your passport and prp I will talk about um, hotel booking in a while but for now I will mention about passport and BRP so in my experience um, I live in the Isle of Wight Malayo siya from the nearest airport which was I mean Malayo siya from the airport kung saan ako magsta start on my Morocco journey which is London Gatwick so from the island from a place in Newport I have to ride a bus to go to ride and then sa ride merong port done 
I have to use the ferry to cross to Portsmouth and then from Portsmouth I have to use a train to go to London Gatwick. Now let me share to you my experience dun sa London Gatwick. So um, I was very surprised because way back in the country we are always hearing these news and um, rants in social media yung mga immigration officers natin dun super super strict. But in here it was very quick it was hassle-free and it was not intimidating. <laughs> That's one thing for sure. Talagang, when you go traveling, happy happy ka. If, of course, you are not <laughs> um, bringing something illegal or what. So, if you are um, honest and your conscience is free, going for a holiday or traveling somewhere and you start um, departing from the UK, um, the process is smooth, um, the staff are so friendly. So, talagang, may excite ka talaga so di ka pa nga nakarating sa bansang pupuntahan mo your experience at the airport at least to say the least sa experience ko it was very um convenient and it was good so upon um entering the airport of course merong security check can you check yung bag through the x-ray and then yung body mo can you check sa scanner after that, I had to check in. Um, I I checked in in advance online, and then I printed my I printed the boarding pass, because um, it is available in the app. But if I will lose my phone or I run out of juice or whatever for some reason, I still have a good backup, which is a hard copy of the boarding pass. So, pinakita ko lang yung boarding pass. Um, and then after that uh i think oh yeah and then kinuha yung passport ko tinignan very quick check less than a minute and then after that go right inside the boarding um waiting area and i would like to mention as well since i just went backpacking so i didn't have to pay um extra luggage or i didn't have to um do backdrop yung or oh, you hold yung bag mo and then you'll just pick it up later no nothing like that so i went inside the aircraft with all my bags and for some reason just to keep myself um just to make me feel relieved and prepared i paid large cabin bag um fee because yung bag ko is more than the limit sa size na pwedeng ilagay sa ilalim ng seat but then I realized it was really not that big. So, um, might as well hindi na lang ako nagbayad. But I, I still paid for it for both flights going and coming back. So, para convenient siya. So, kahit maliit siya, kahit pwede siya ilagay sa ilalim ng seat, nilagay ko pa din siya sa overhead um, uh, luggage compartment. Kasi, I paid for it. For that add-on, it cost me 50 pounds so from 140 naging 190 na yung um, total price na binayaran ko sa EasyJet that's the plane ticket and the extra um, luggage now pagkalapag dun sa airport sa tinawag nilang airport Marrakesh Menara or Menara Marrakesh airport I can't remember so this is the airport Pagdating doon, wow, super ang ganda. Maganda yung airport, very modern and very, the style is very Islamic and Arabic something. So, pagdating ko doon, um, from the airplane, we went inside the building and went straight to the immigration. Yung mga IOs doon, super bait din sila, as in. So, pagpunta ko doon, pinakita ko lang, yung hiningi nila is, lang, is the boarding pass and um, passport. I don't think hiningi yung BRP, no? Hindi hiningi yung BRP ko. But, I think hiningi yung BRP ko. I just can't remember. It happened so quickly. Unlike nung experience ko sa Philippines when I came here, before coming here to the UK. Although it was not an intimidating experience, but it was sort of more investigative. And the staff was very kind. She was very kind. Um, she was asking relevant questions. Hindi katulad yung mga nababasa ko sa... Facebook or narinig ko sa mga balita na mga, um, I should say, silly questions. So, the questions I was asked by the I.O. in Naia before coming to the U.K., they were pretty relevant. But it was kind of long process, <clears throat> maybe around three minutes, and a little bit intimidating because 
uh, why would it take that long anyway going back dun sa IO ng um, Morocco it was really really quick so just I just handed in my boarding pass the passport and then he was like looking at me checking if the picture in the passport and my face they matched together and then hiningi yung BRP and yung tanong niya lang is if I can remember he just asked me where are you gonna stay parang ganun lang so I just said Hotel Le Grand Emil Chill and then that's it uh, I, um, the process was done I went I went out of that area and then I was out and about in Morocco. Pero, for me to be sure, nagprint din ako ng hotel confirmation or booking confirmation. Um, printed copy. I actually put all my documents inside a uh, clear envelope. So, andun yung boarding pass, yung passport ko, yung BRP, yung hotel confirmation. And then, nabasa ko sa website, um, sabi doon, they will ask you to fill out a health declaration form. So, in my case, I also filled that out in advance. I printed it. And I also printed several um, um, forms na wala pang fill out just in case I, I need to do it again sa airport mismo. But for some reason, hindi siya hiningi. So, wala. Wala lang. <laughs> Dinala ko lang siya, but hindi siya hiningi. And funny enough, I also brought my um, birth certificate, the DBS, I, mean, I don't know, bakit dinala ko siya, and COS, um, just in case they will ask supporting documents of me coming, surely coming back to the UK and to prove that I have a job in the UK. And I'm just going to Morocco for a short vacation or um, nothing more than that. Now let's talk about booking. So even in the Philippines, I've been using this app or website, which is booking.com. So Dito ko nahanap yung um, hotel ko. It's called Hotel Le Grand Emil Chill. So, it was reasonable for around 80 or 90 pounds. It's a 4 days, 3 nights stay. Merong swimming pool, merong free breakfast. Meron din silang restaurant where you can order food if you want to. Or if you're not planning to go out and dine out, then you can just order straight away from the hotel's restaurant. Now, next, we will talk about SIM card or how would you have communication in uh, Morocco. So, pagkalabas ko ng immigration, um, right in front of me, meron dong mga um, SIM card shops. So, marami siyang brands and then there was one brand called Orange. Maraming nakalinya dun. So, dun ako, nag, dun ako bumili ng SIM card. Because I thought uh, this should be the best provider because many people were lighting up. And it was a 20 gigabyte good for two months for um, around 20 pounds. And then I realized it was too much for me because I would only stay for um, four days or three days. It was really too much for me. But um, may nakapag-suggest na I can actually buy a local SIM and then it's a prepaid SIM. I can load it up, have data, whatever. But no, it's a hassle na for me. So uh, anyway, I just got the orange. It was a very good provider. Ang lakas ng 4G dun sa Morocco, guys. So I was very confident I will never run out of data. Um, I use data most of the time because of not only updating my social media accounts, but also for Google Maps and when I need to research something, um, I use my um, cell phone and I would need data for that. So if you're planning to go to Morocco, learn about their local SIM cards or you ask someone who has been there and did a different thing than what I did, which is just buying a SIM card straight away from the airport. Um, which is a little bit expensive actually when I realized that I could have bought something cheaper outside the airport or in the market or in the mall. And then now let's talk about money and currency. So they are using Moroccan dirham. So what I did is, sa London Gatwick Airport palang lang, withdraw na ako ng um, pounds in cash. And then when I arrived in Morocco, um, Together with those SIM card shops, what uh, whatnot, you can also find yung mga exchange 
money exchangers. And merong isa dun na global exchange ata yung tawag. So, yun yung pinuntahan ko. So, um, 1 pound is equal to around 11 to 13 Moroccan dirhams. So, dun ako nagpa-exchange. It was, I bought, uh, I brought with me 400, I think 460 pounds. And then, it was exchanged and I received, parang ang yaman-yaman ko dun sa Morocco. Kasi I received a lot of, um, bills and some coins so nagtanong yung lalaki if um i want it all in cash yung denominations whatever if gusto ko gusto ko ba daw i-load up siya into a prepaid card but i'm not familiar about prepaid cards so maybe it's just like paying through google pay or apple pay or carrying a credit card or a bank account card with you but i didn't feel um that would be convenient baka hindi lahat ng establishments doon to matanggap ng ganong transaction so i just exchanged all of my british pounds to moroccan dirhams in cold cash now for transportation so i have already researched ad in advance kung ano yung gagamitin kong transportation from the hotel uh, from the airport to my hotel so there are taxis right outside the airport so sabi pa nga nila pagkalabas po ng airport ng Morocco, doon na yun magsa-start yung scam. So, I was expecting na they will come up to me and they will like harass me like, go to my, uh, come with me, I'll take you to your hotel, whatever. But no, they were just, they were just like calling me like, hey, do you need a taxi ride or something like that? But I just said, no, I will use the L19 bus. So, pagkalabas ko ng airport, just a few walks away, ando na yung L19 bus. So, dating ko dun sa... Um, terminal kung saan nakapark yung L19 bus I just told the driver um, can you drop me off close to Hotel Le Grand Emotion? so ganun lang and then sabi na yeah sure sure so I just paid 30 dirhams if I used the taxi they might have charged me way higher than 30 um, yung bus naman is very convenient I think it was air con no it's not air conditioned but for some reason Morocco's weather was not hot i was expecting it would be hot kasi desert nga but it's not um the temperature was like 20 to 25 when i arrived in the that was in the afternoon and then kinaumagahan nagda drop siya to 15 18 and then magpipeak na naman siya around 20s and then go back down to um 18 or less um towards the end of the day um, there is no time difference between UK and Morocco. So, they are on the same time zone. So, walang jet lag na mga ganap-ganap. Walang mga ganan, guys. So, it's just like, in you, when you are in, if you are in the Philippines, it's just like you are from Cebu and then you go to Manila. So, it's like a domestic travel, I should say. But it's international. Literally, you will be flying from one continent to another. Now, um, when I moved around the city, I just uh, traveled on foot. Marrakesh is not a big city, so you just use Google Maps, plan your way, kung saan yung first mong puntahan, and where to go next para hindi ka mapagod. But it's a very fun, very colorful, very vibrant place, so hindi ka talaga mabubord, hindi mo mapapansin na naikot mo na pala yung buong Medina, or naikot mo na yung kabuuan ng downtown Marrakesh, kasi it you will have um, a feast of colors, taste, smell, noise, whatever. It's a very different experience, but it was worth it. Now, I will share to you the activities that I did in that country. So, I have mentioned about the camel ride, quad bike. So, yung provider ng activities called Rack Adventures. So, pagkabuk ko dun sa Get Your Guide, ito yung isa sa nagpop up na suggested packages and then I just booked in and paid. Next is the tour around the uh, Marrakesh and going to the historical landmarks and famous tourist spots. So I went to Kutubia Mosque which is for free and then Saadian Tombs, Badi Palace, Bahia Palace. So Itong Saadian, Badi, and Bahia, I paid 70 dirhams each. Um, there are tour packages, group tour packages, that will go around or take you to these places or even more. But I found it a little bit expensive and I wouldn't have much um, control of my time if I go in a group tour. 
kasi nga limited yung oras and then um i just want to do it myself i just want to control my time i want to sit down in a particular place if napapagod ako and then just look around the place i am that type of person and i want to to go to places in peace hindi yung talagi kang nagka-catch up ng time or you need to listen to the guide i'm not uh, i'm not against it but it's just not my thing if i want to learn about the structures i can google that i can learn that <clears throat> anyway um i like to do it alone i i did it diy as i have mentioned i planned it in advance sinulat ko pa siya sa papel ilang minutes to go there and whatever so yun yung nangyari <clears throat> and then last is medina so it, ito na yung parang pinaka downtown so you will see a lot of souvenir shops mer mga pagkainan ganon and food in morocco is not also expensive it's very delicious it's a mix of arabic they also have asian fusion and um french um, cuisine for the people um before going to morocco i have researched about the safety of the country because i i would be doing it alone i was a little bit hesitant and scared I was almost convinced not to go there anymore kasi when you search about traveling to Morocco sa YouTube talagang all that pops up are scams and hustlers and how how, how dangerous or something it it's it's about 80 to 90% negative but in my experience no um the country is beautiful the people are very beautiful people they are very kind they are as I have mentioned, they are very happy people. For the language, they are using um, Arabic, I guess, and French, and they can understand English, and maybe some of them cannot be, uh, cannot speak fluently, but they can understand you, you can understand them, kind of like that. So you don't have to worry because if you go to a certain establishment, there is always that one person na parang MVP nila. <laughs> they push that person, oh English, go ahead and talk to that customer, talk to that client. And Morocco is a very touristy place. So they are used to receiving guests from all over the world. So most of the time, you can communicate to them um, conveniently. So that's gonna be it. I hope nakatulong nakatulong tong video na to, sharing my experience to those who are hesitant, to those who feel I'm scared but they really want to go to Morocco, they want to experience it. So this is the video for you. Um, but still don't rely on this video alone because um everyone of us has their own experience or will have our own experience so lucky for me i didn't have any bad experience in morocco at all although my naga approach sa akin um there was once na parang nag smile siya and then when you smile back or you even make eye contact they will take it as a cue that you are interested about what they can offer so that person came up to me and then he asked where is your group are you are you um doing the tour alone whatever so maybe he was trying to offer to me a tour um but i just declined i just said no i'm just walking around i'm just looking around parang ganun yung and they're very polite they will not push they will not push their trade so they will just back off if you if you say uh, no or if you say you're not interested and then yung staff ng mga establishments nila they are also very friendly they are very helpful and yung mga staff ng mga tindahan yung mga kinainan kong food shops they are very very helpful as well although medyo difficult medyo may challenge tayo uh, when it comes to communication because some of them are i know most of them are fluent in french rather than english so when they speak english parang french yung naririnig mo so you have to double check like oh what did you say or can you tell me more about it because i didn't understand what you were saying in the first place or something like that so that's it so i hope this video helps and enjoy morocco guys if you're planning to go there goodbye